May 16th, when it's law versus the Bible. As Christian citizens, we should submit to the authority vested in human government. But scripture does not say we must blindly obey every law. When Daniel and his three friends refused to obey the king's dietary regulations, for example, they disobeyed. But the way they did it proved that they honored the king and respected the authorities. Daniel chapter 1 They were not rebels. They were careful not to embarrass the official in charge or get him into trouble. Yet, they stood their ground. They glorified God and at the same time honored the authority of the king. Peter and the other apostles faced a similar challenge shortly after Pentecost. Acts chapter 4 to 5 The Jewish council commanded them to stop preaching in the name of Jesus, but Peter and his associates refused to obey. They did not cause a rebellion or in any way question or deny the authority of the council. They submitted to the institution but refused to stop preaching. They showed respect to their leaders even though these men were opposed to the gospel. It is important that we respect the office even if we cannot respect the man or woman in the office. As much as possible, we should seek to cooperate with the government and obey its laws, but we must never allow any law to make us violate our Christian conscience or disobey God's word. Scripture commands in Romans chapter 13 verses 1, Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Other scripture, Romans chapter 13 verses 1 to 10, Acts chapter 4 verses 19, chapter 5 verses 29. Take time right now to pray for those in authority, city, country, state, and federal officials. Use names of the officials where possible. Amen.